for an answer. Is Lee here? Yeah! Okay, this isn't the introduction. This is like part of the act. So, okay, I have a picture here from the S train of an M&M &M with 3D glasses on. And it says, uh, everyone in there looks so real. And I took the picture this morning, not really, just because just it just... It just irked me, okay? We're on the shuttle, so uh, get on the shuttle. I don't know you, you, yeah, people know the shuttle, the S train, the Grand Central. If you actually, at rush hour, if you actually time at a good pace, walking from Grand Central to Times Square, and you're in pretty good shape, if you take that time and then you spend the same amount of time getting downstairs, getting on the shuttle, waiting for people to get off, Piling in, getting in there, waiting for the doors to close, going to one stop, last stop, everybody off, waiting for those doors to open, waiting for those people to move, da da da. It's the same amount of time. It's exactly the same amount of time. By the way, subway uh, it comes from the Latin word for godforsaken hole in the ground. Uh, now, if you know the, the S train, you know they decorate the subways in some advertising and they have these they have these campaigns they cover them top to bottom head to toe with some campaign for some kind of promotion of some sort of drink or show or some fashion thing or whatever and the current one is for guardians of the galaxy so getting on I, I didn't, sometimes I do this, I, I don't always take it, but I was tired and it's raining and whatever and I didn't want to buy a crappy umbrella because the umbrellas are, you know, they're not worth that, they're going to, it's just, not, I don't, I, I'd rather get wet, it's just water, okay, I don't care about the rain. So, I get on this thing, I t and I, I'm looking at, everywhere you look is Guardians of the Galaxy to promote the movie. Now the other thing about the promotion of the movie and the fact that, by the way, the MTA is selling the subway, they're getting paid to paper this thing with Guardians of the Galaxy advertising, they've got tie-ins for M&Ms. The M&Ms are part of the tie-in. There's M&Ms all over the Guardians of the Galaxy because, of course, yeah, you know, I might be at the movies and I might want an M&M because I can never think for myself to just get M&Ms. If it wasn't for the advertising, I would know, oh, right, I'm at the movies, I can get M&Ms. Jesus Christ. So, okay, now, you got to, I mean, what we're trying to talk about here is, again, this M&M with 3D glasses on that's looking at me saying they all look so real. So just step back a little bit here. This is a movie advertised on a subway that nobody cares about. We'd all just be happy to just be in the subway, tolerate each other and our body odor and our smells and the sniffling and everything else without being told to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. So you got all that going on, and then you have this M&M thing on the side. Now the other thing about the M&Ms is let's not forget, M&Ms by themselves are just little round balls, but if you put a face on them and make them anthropomorphized, well, then they're that much more desirable because they're cute and they, they talk and they have hands now all of a sudden. So you got the little cartoon hand there, and not only that, let's go a little further back. This M&M is talking, it's anthropomorphized, and it has 3D glasses on because it's a 3D movie. So it's looking at me saying they all look so real. And I, I, you should just kind of separate yourself from all of this crap and realize, like, I can't be by myself on this. Just let me think. Just wonder, what the hell am I doing in life? Why am I even going to this job? Why, why do I need an umbrella? Please let me know when I get over time because I'll just keep going for another 20 minutes. So, I'm just trying to understand this. And I, I said, I, got, I, got, I have material shit written. And I'm like, now, I'm doing this tonight. I'm going to talk about this motherfucking M&M with 3D glasses on. And I got one minute. So I think I can tie this up. Here's the whole thing. Now, on the bottom of this, and the very bottom of this, tucked in here, on the side, is a pamphlet. Somebody else, who's not tied into Guardians of the Galaxy or M&Ms, stuck a pamphlet for divine healing. And that's really what it's all about. It's the divine healing of being on the subway with all of humanity, wondering what I'm doing, why I'm here, why am I looking at an M&M with 3D glasses on, looking at me saying, we all look so real. That's all I can tell you folks.